Hello friends, is everybody ready for a reveal? I am Archfield Monk, 
I am joined today by Cyberdark86. Hello, hello. I am also joined today by Angel FM. I am also here. And working various levers, switches, and toggles behind the scenes, if he wishes to announce himself, he may. Zarnax42. Here. Zarnax is here. Well, we've got, I think, what's going to end up being a great program. I'm, I don't want to like overhype it. This is going to be fantastic. I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, Nescard, for the raid. We've got a lovely group here, citizens of Alephgard all. And we're going to get things started. We're going to do a quick overview. If you're not familiar, if you're not in the tournament, you haven't checked the rules. If you are in the tournament and you haven't read the rules, then this will come in handy for you. We're going to take a quick... <laughs> We take a quick look at the tournament summary here. I and really wanted 12 hours of DWR today. <laughs> so our tournament summary is here on screen. These are our flags. These are kind of default flags. Uh, what you would think of normally when you think of watching summer tournaments most of that stuff is in there there's a couple of small changes uh, including the death counter which is a new feature in version 3 there's a lot of different changes if you haven't been watching much since the switch over to version 3 too um, but the uh, the main idea is that this is fairly typical uh, we did something a little bit different this year. This is the first year, uh, to my recollection, that we are using sort of a groups format for the main part of the event, and we're seeding the top parts of those groups with an optional qualifying stage, and thanks to many fantastic behind-the-scenes efforts, we were able to get uh, one of uh, those top four racers from each of those five qualifying seeds that we did broadcast right here on the channel today. And I want to send a special shout out to Secret Agent Mand and Camion Renekai who uh, helped me put that together. Uh, their efforts tracking were uh, instrumental to making that happen because uh, we had a fairly small window from the deadline for the end of the qualifiers on Friday to today, basically uh, uh, 48 hours to start putting that together and they, they did a great job so I want to thank them for that. <clears throat> uh, Cyberdark, maybe you can take us through the rest of what we've got here. Right, so there's a big long flag string there. Basically what that means, it's uh, standard flags. Uh, standard flags everybody races with pretty much every day. Uh, the preliminary stage is already over. There were five asynchronous seeds, as Archfield said. Those are all complete. We have some stats that we will show you later on, on who placed where. Um, the top 16 will be seated and everyone after that will be randomly um, pulled in and there's a fun way we're going to do that Archfield need your mic <laughs> here's the fun thing I apologize the crew in discord was hearing me talk to somebody but um, I was muted on the OBS side so it's fine okay sorry um <laughs> The final stage will be seeded. We'll have 24 players um, in a bracket stage. Best of three. Every match will be a best of three. Uh, we've got a month in this group stage and then over a month in the best of three if need be. Uh, the winners of each group will receive a bye. The second and third place racers will be paired against one another. Uh, and all based on the uh, performance in the group stage, of course. Yeah, so that's basically all there is to it. That's pretty succinct. We're going to have our groups, and that's the main part of what we're doing here today. We're going to... I'm going to bring up a screen here in the moment that just even before you know what it does looks remarkable. So 
So what we've got is we're going to draw the participants who did not qualify as one of the top 16 seeds. We're going to draw them into their groups first and then reveal each of the participants that did qualify uh, after everybody else has been assigned to their group. And I've got a lot of stuff going on over here, so I'm going to make sure I'm doing this right. We do have one participant who will not be included in the draw just due to uh, some behind-the-scenes stuff that we needed to confirm first. And let me see if I can bring up my little inset here. You will hear various clicking throughout. I apologize for that. My microphone's not in a great place to handle this. But as we draw each person, I'm going to slot them into their group, and then you'll see something like this come up. As I said, we randomized uh, only wire is grab into this first group. Each of the eight groups are not don't have letters or anything. They're all named after basically zone zero enemies plus one. We've got the slime group, the red slime group, the drakey group, magician, magidrakey, scorpion, and right here the druin group. So we've already got one participant drawn into that group. And then as we continue to go through, uh, you'll be seeing those groups populated by each individual who is drawn next. And the way that we're going to do this, if we can, is that every time we draw a new participant, if that participant is in chat, they get to choose the square that we're drawing next. So if your name is called, you can take a look at the big board there and say call out uh, Tantagel Loric. And that's going to be the next square that we draw. Does this sound good? I think it sounds okay. If we have a racer that is not in chat at the moment when their name is drawn, we'll give them 20 seconds or so, and then one of us will pick a name instead. Yeah, one of us will figure it out. We'll probably just make Angel, I think, is what's going to happen. Sounds like a reasonable plan to me. All right. So well, let's... Are we just going to start right there? Am I, are we starting with Tanda Lurk? Did I accidentally call the first square? I believe that was true. I mean, how else are we going to call the first square? Well, by accident, yeah, that seems par for the course where I'm concerned, sure. Are we ready? Yeah, let's do it. Go happen. for it. Oh, it's going to be suspenseful because uh, it's on my drive that takes forever, forever to load up oh, when it's been sleeping. That, <laughs> that's okay. It's it's firing up. Hey, it seems we found a Nimenva. All right, so Nim is going to be drawn into the scorpion group here. So Nim, I see you're in chat. You pick another square. Yeah. Nim is picking the next square. Nim has picked the Hox Dragon Lord. I sh I need to pay attention and not chat. <laughs> <laughs> and Bob has it right. No one knows who's under each box. Yeah, so everybody's being, yeah, it's just picking random spots. It's giving us the box, and then we're placing that person there. Now, I was looking at my thing, so I missed who that was. Who was that under that box? The Marashu. Yep.
All right, so Marashu is the first participant placed into the Magic Drake group. It looks like Marashu has called out the Coal Merchant. Ah, uh, the Hangry Canuck. I don't think he's in chat. I haven't seen Hangry yet, but he might be here. We'll give him a few minutes. Uh, nah, I mean. Well, the thing is, we have, well, not a few minutes, right? Like a few, a couple seconds. The thing is, the coal merchant is well known for just standing in the way, so you have to pause a little bit to wait for him to move so you can get to the item shop. Well, I guess since uh, the Hanger Canuck's not here, I get to pick, huh? Angel is the designated hitter. Please pick a square. Right. I guess we're going to Lord Lord Eh, Lorik. Cantlin. Computer, if you would work, please, that would help. Seems we have found a vertical sandwich. Alright, so Vertical Sandwich, first random participant drawn into the Drakey group. Vertical Sandwich has made a choice. Oh, I missed it! Uh, the girl in Cantlin. The viewers have searched and found the Tyranix. I actually want to apologize. I made a clerical error in the last one. Vertical Sandwich was actually drawn into the ghost group. I got my slides out of order. So Vertical Sandwich is in the ghost group Tyrant X into the Drakey group. We will have something showing who's in what group later on. Probably Yeah, we'll have time. the whole we'll have the whole thing uh, up at the end. And also for those runners, you will be thrown into a channel matching that name. Um, again, sometime either tonight or tomorrow. Well, I haven't seen Tyranix around, so... Angel? We'll go to the nice girl in Rimmeldar. The... Our townswoman? Correct. Ha! <laughs> That's Secret Agent Mand, I think. Last name first. <laughs> Apparently, the first word, because... Uh, I think because of Erdrich's, um gear, the first word can be oh. up to nine letters, but the second has a max of eight. Yes. That that sounds right. Alright, Secret Agent Man is in the Red Slime fun. group. Oh, yes. 
Yeah, I can't even imagine the technical hurdles you had to leap in order to make this happen, Zarnax. It's unbelievable. Uh, we didn't. If if it was a chest glitch, we would have gotten a mail droll. But I'm I'm gonna work on that one. Don't you worry. I don't think Mand is here right now, so. Uh, I feel like that would be your uh, your. Oh, is, you is, know, is, your... is that is that my call? Yeah, since I mean, you know, you and Mand, I figured. Yeah, yeah sure. I'll uh, I'll pick up my co-op partner here since he's not around. Let's go. Let's go, Freckinary old man. Tav, you're drunk. <laughs> thou hast, that might be one of my favorite sentences I've ever seen. Thou hast found the pineapple bob. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mr. Pineapple Bob. It's Mr. Dr. Pineapple Bob to you. Apologies. My apologies. It is. It but is it's your pick. pick. But there you go. Yeah, it is Bob Pineapple's pick. Bob Pineapple runner up in the recently concluded random percent cup. Dragon Dragon Lord. Ah, the Sea Wolf one. Some of these names actually work out. Are you sure it's not these a wolf one? Mm. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. So the Sea Wolf one is in the Druin group. And I haven't seen Sea Wolf here yet, but we'll give him a couple seconds. Yeah, it appears he is not in chat. All right, on we go. Well, I see that the soldier has been neglected along with Garenham, so let's go with that. One stone, I like it. After searching the ground all about, we have found the Fitz and Toaster. I have to say, Tom's doing real good work here today. Just finding all really these chests. Really wanted to shouldn't. Really wanted to be able to shuffle it up a bit more, but that that was out of my scope. It seems we really, have a primary merchant. Ah, oh, thank you. Ooh, I gotta get out of the way. And after some box, seems like we have a Stags 28. Hey, look, it's dark down there in those 9x9 nine nine treasure rooms. Okay, you can sometimes take a little bit of time to get out of there. Groups are shaping up. I know Stags was just involved in the race, but I'm not sure if he came over to chat or not. See oh, him Stag in chat? Oh, oh, there he is. is. There, there is Stags. Your pick, my friend. The Dragon Lord of Coal. That's a terrible treasure guard. Man. Coal Dragon oh, no. Lord. Seems we have found a Fran Burgundy. Fran joins the Hangry Canuck in the Magician group. 
And yeah, I came to do... name an NPC. Anybody in Ferran's chat? <laughs> well, I think we could just you know raid Ferran and then you know have him choose and then come back. <laughs> <laughs> that that feels like perhaps more logistics than I'm interested in investing in right now. I think I said in twice. I'm tired. Angel, pick a square. Happy belated birthday to Ferran as well. Indeed. Wait. So let's go to the old man in Hawksness. What's an old man doing in Hawksness? Get out of there, old man. It's dangerous. Where is there? To go alone. <laughs> Woodsword's not going to help that guy. He's in trouble. We have found an old vampire lady. Who is also in chat. Terrific. Oh, I haven't clicked on the thing yet. Let me click on the thing. And then I'll click on that thing. And then we'll get ourselves a new square. An old vampire lady has oh, picked the girl, girl and the girl. Ah, the Miblet 2. <laughs> and there's Ferran. There's Ferran now. If Miplet's not if Miplet's not here, then Ferran can call now. If, yeah, if yeah, exactly. Oh, oh no, there's Miplet. Miplet. There's Miplet. Yeah, so Sorry, Fran, we knew you were streaming, so we had Angel call for you. Oh, Rim Lady. Uh, I, I'm not actually watching a stream. Let me know if you're oh, caught yes. up. Okay, thank you. Uh, Rim Lady has already been picked. Oh. I didn't even check. <laughs> the... I'm glad you were Thank paying you. attention, Cybernark, or whoever yeah. caught that. If that was you, Tilo, uh, you get one bonus Archfield buck. It's good for nothing. Uh, we've changed it to the Rimmeldar King. For how we're drawing random names for the grouping. <laughs> so we do have the Rimmeldar King picked. Okay. Seems we have found Ratliff. Ratliff. Please well, I mean, check in. Does it look like Ratliff's here? I, don't, I haven't seen him yet, so maybe this is our uh, spot for Fern to pinch hit. There we go, Fran. Seeing as you're here, pick a square. I like how Fran, you know, was so excited to come in, and now he's just taking his time. Maybe watching. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I think we got Can't a Cantlin Cantlin third row. Cantlin guard. Cantlin guard. Thank you much. Oh, the silly dabbit. All right, we're on our way here. We've got two participants per group. We're going to be rolling it back around to the Druin group for our third pick there. I have not, I'm not sure if I've seen Silly Dabbit. I think I saw Silly Dabbit earlier today, but he, I think he maybe said he was going to have to nope out for the evening. 
He did say that. Yeah, so... Angel. Well, I I feel like I should, you know, defer this to Cyberdark. Oh, he's passing. It's a strategic play by Angel FM. How will it turn out? Cyberdark86. With a pick. Let's go for a merchant in Cantlin and hope he has a silver shield. Nope, he has a Fred. Hi, Fred. Oh, that's the wrong one. There it is. I do not see Fred in chat yet, but Malkior was the first person to post a Fred emote. So I think we're going to Malkior for the next pick. Sounds good to me. Scarlet, I'm glad you said that because I was wondering how long it was going to take. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we were talking about that very thing just before the broadcast started. Dragonlord Cole, Dragon. says Malkior. Has already been picked? Oh. <sighs> Alright, change to Garenham. Ah. Uh, yes. Dragonlord Garenham. Thou has found the Jeff. Shoif 17. Next in that group. And he has picked the Tantalgical Guard. That's a quick pick. I like to see that. Except I haven't pressed the button yet. There <laughs> we go. Oh. No, we were good. I got out of the way. We were all clear. All right. We have found a gambit. It is gambit. Gambit joining. Uh, I'll just show. I'll just show next two groups in sequence. Okay, we have a dragon lord and tantagil. have found the Yakko Wacko. Right, so uh, Gambit lands in the Magidraki group with Marashu and Stags 28. I think we're starting to open too many chests and starting to glitch. Oh, we're way past glitching. <laughs> I mean, Yakko, Yakko's name didn't show up all the way. I think that was my capture, not the it might have it might have been I did see it on the screen, so <laughs> Who do you choose next? The echo. Doing two paddle Thank balls at once. Giving this its due consideration. Garenham Loric is the choice. Could have possibly been better if it had said Esquire at the end. <laughs> Lord of the Synth drops into. What do we got here? The Ghost Group? 
Yeah, that's right, the ghost group. I haven't seen Synth in chat in a while. I'm sure he was here earlier today, but I haven't seen him lately. Yeah. I think if uh, we're going to have you know, Lord of Synth pick, I think we have DW Edit do it. Yes, that makes sense. If Stom were here... Queen Duck. The, the, you're talking about this. Ah, we have a lady in Hoxness. Oh! Bad capture. I'm gonna say that was the chromaticalism? That's what it yes. looks like. That was chroma. Has to be. Well, now he's officially a CHM. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the underscores. Now we're playing Wheel of Fortune. To guess the letters that go inside that name. I have not yeah, seen also, Chroma. Yeah. This feels like this should be yeah. an Aaron to you two pick, I think. That works too. Tentagel Towns woman cannot yet use the spell <laughs> and has found uh, Dr. Mr. Holmes. Quick shout out to Dr. Mr. Holmes, by the way. Congratulations on successfully defending your dissertation. I've also not seen Mr. Holmes here, um, or Dr. Mr. Holmes. Apologies. Hi, well, Spirits. Do you want to pick one? Old Man in the Castle is the choice from High Spirits. I think I recognize that name. Once or twice before. I think it was kind of rigged that the admin would choose the admin. Hmm. Kind of suspicious. Now we're going to get a bunch in a row. <laughs> well, uh, Zarnex, oh. I, I guess you have the pick. Yeah, that's that's me. Zarnex42 is on the clock. Okay, let, let's, let's do the, the old man and Cole. Xernax has found the Kegelis. So Kig joining the Druin group. The Druin group sounds kind of like a law firm. I don't know why that one particularly. 
Maybe that's just me. And Kigalus has given his choice via riddle. King is surveying the ruined desert town. We're going to Hoxness Loric for our next choice. Ah, the bad Bailey. Bailey V joined the Scorpion group. I haven't seen uh, V yet this evening. If you're out there, you can feel free to make a pick. If not. Yeah, it does not look like V is around. Yeah. So we'll punt this to a fellow DW4 hour runner. Angel, why don't you take a spin? Well, I feel like we should you know, defer to, you know, former world record uh, Dragon Warrior 4 holder Ness Carnality. That's very fair. Nest card. Would you care to make a choice? Just got to pick a column. So you got your seven towns across the top there and then name an NPC to go with it. One of the squares that still has a chest remaining inside it. King Cole for an extra. Old King Cole and announced in the best possible fashion. Er, Burbaloot. Already made a choice. Seems the coordinates have the Z-Man, or Z-Band, depending on where you are. Fortune smiles upon the viewers indeed. Any wow, time look at that nice booth. keystone connection there. Look at ah, that. we'll actually see a match between Veron look and Z. Usually they're commentating together. Keystone connection in the magician group. I don't think I've seen Z this evening. Let them calm their own match. <laughs> Seems you made his laugh, Tilo. Pick a group, or pick a square. Seems we have a merchant in Hoxness. And we found the Jay Coper. I like that. Lord of the Synth and Jay Coper. I was just going to say, I was, I was looking at it, I was getting the next slide set up, and I thought, oh, yeah, that's right. Synth and Jay Coper in the same group. Very cool. Hi, 
has a Melchior for sale. Malkyr was here at some point. Yeah, Malkyr, I think, at least made one choice for us earlier. But he is at the plate again. He wants to take another swing. I don't know why everything's about baseball all of a sudden. Well, it is you we're talking about. Yeah, that's fair. It's very fair, in fact. Looks like Malkyr wants some keys. Not find keys, finds a beef supreme. Beef Supreme prefers quality <laughs> keys from the Tantagel Merchant. Upscale purchaser of magic keys. And with those upscale keys, we have a Centroid. Centroid 42 landing in the... Or no, that's wrong. I read the numbers are different. Centroid 41 landing in the group of Zarnax 42, which are adjacent, but in fact not the same number. I've not seen Centroid here tonight. I think that sounds like a Schmike pick, then. I like this call. This is a good managerial decision, Angel. Summoning Schmike from the bullpen. Yeah, the Hawksness guard should just be a ghost, right? He doesn't... He clearly didn't do his job. Somewhere around Hoxness, he found a Guelph 35. Ooh, Marashi makes a good point. Now we need to get her out of here. <laughs> the, la <laughs> the lady in Garenham. <laughs> So Lady in Garenham was hiding Venicus. This is a high Scrabble value group we've got right here. There's lots of V, there's lots of V's there, and a Z, and a Z. See, the old man in Rimmeldar has been blocking me. <laughs> old man. It's 
Speaking of NPCs, which is something we've been doing the entire time anyway, but speaking of NPCs, real quick shout out to Schmike for mentioning Win earlier. I actually had to do research. I was considering proposing we actually name all the groups after NPCs, but there's so few named NPCs in Dragon Warrior, and like three of them are already dead when the game happens. Like Garen and Win, <laughs> Howard, Nestor, Orwick. Which is that guy that's just oh, hanging out outside of Remalder and his girlfriend? Oh, his girlfriend doesn't have a name, does she? She doesn't actually. She doesn't have a name. Yeah. Cyberdark. Ah, uh, let's go with the guard in Cole. Ah, there's the air sign. Air sign into the magician group, which looks like another high value Scrabble group. It seems air sign wants the guard in Rimaldar. Who's guarding the Scarlet Shadow? Really, very quickly. <laughs> that is quite a kingly <laughs> title. I like that. King Screen Lag the Useless. Wow, what an ignominious reign he had. Bought all those radishes for no reason. Bankrupt the country. I think we found the edge. We did find the edge. We found the edge of the map, and that means we can now safely explore up the coast. Oh wait, you meant... Oh, I see. No, I get it. Yeah. Edge. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, it doesn't look like Edge is here, so I think we should have empty I choose, being a long-standing uh, member of the community. I love it. No Tanagel. No Hawksness. No Coal. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Scarlet has already changed his name in Discord. Empty Eye making the walk all the way to Cantlin in its vanilla location. Let's find Billick. I think Billick is in chat. I don't nope. think so either. Also, Melchior, that's what VODs are for. Angel. I does it right, need I to guess. either picker or pick picker. I guess I'll take this one. Let's go with the old man in Garenham. You mean that guy that always stands right in front of the door? And you go into the back and he's just standing there in front of the door? It depends on which one.
Well, that old man found a Ziggy. I'm slightly, just slightly disappointed that Ziggy didn't land in the group. It has all the other Z's in it. But this is also good. All right, Ziggy well, is here in chat. Ziggy is here in chat. Slim pickings. Ah, Ziggy needs some fairy water for a bucket brigade. I'm sorry, we can't reach her right now. She's checking her phone and she just won't come to the counter. Ah, the Quinn Patrick. Quinn Patrick, one of quite a few first timers. I think I counted earlier and then I forgot to write down the number. So that's really information that doesn't do anybody any good. But I just thought I'd let you know. Quinn has picked the Dragon Lord in Rimbledar. Oh yeah, it's right on the path. Go if he ever left. He seems quite content to just stay in his flooded basement for some reason. I don't know what's going on there, to be honest. That dragon lord is up to no good. Up to NG drops into the scorpion group. Well, technically, it's up to NG's pick. I don't want to put too much pressure on you if you're out there. I know this is a difficult choice, but just rest assured, um, we're wishing you good luck and we're Thank all coming. Thank time. To be fair, we do know he's up to no good, so... Hmm. Hmm. Up to NG has decided to go with the garden brick. Good choice, good choice. I think I might have made the same. I don't think my applause is actually being picked up by the microphone. Seems we have found the lead up. Yes, we have. I'm not sure if I showed the last group, so I'm going to make sure that gets up there. Then I'm going to show this one. And uh, Lad up, if I'm not mistaken, a current Dragon Quest on the Switch world record holder. I believe, so. I believe that's correct. Yeah. So there you go. That. I believe, has concluded the random selection phase of tonight's Ooh. festivities. That means we find a top 16 next. That means we do find a top 16. Hmm. Hmm. There were words in there, don't worry. <laughs> Okay, I have to click a sequence of buttons that will let me do what I actually want it to do now. And so I'm actually going to mute myself so that you don't hear me doing a bunch of clicking. I'm going to, I'm going to try my level best not to press the buttons wrong. But I might. And I... Just want you to know that I might. I take at least 72 hours to reboot, so... Well, 
While Archfield presses the buttons, I guess myself and Angel can read them out. And if nothing else, I have a list of the top 16 here myself, so... Well, you have more than I do. <laughs> I believe the way this is going to work is that we'll start at 16 and work our way back to number one. That is, in fact, correct. So we're going to start at 16. I just need to actually get to figure out which scene is the one I actually want up on the screen. Thank you, Studio Mode, for helping. Okay. Is that the one I want up on the screen? Yes, it is. Okay, so yeah, we're going to start with a slime group. And that will be assigned our 16th qualifier, just barely sneaking in. Slime group, German group, ah, there we go. Slime group. Fry Guy, 3745 is our number 16 seed. Can we go back to make sure that was correct? That doesn't seem correct. Fry Guy, really? <laughs> it is indeed correct. Holding a tiebreaker tie over Xernax, actually. It actually came down to, it was one point. It originally had been a tiebreaker, ah, yes. but that was when we were first looking at the sheet before we took Brian's times out. So it actually came down to a single point. The cutoff and dropped Zarnax into the group at large and Ragai claimed the 16th seed. Now, if it were Brian in disguise, it'd be 3746. And at number 15, we have Arnpoli. Arnpoli, part of the Red Slime group. Number 14 will be Sausage Link. So yes, Sausage, you did make the top 16. And you will be part of the Drakey group. Moving on with the ghost group, we have our number 13 seed, JJ Schmidt. And our 12th seed in the magician group is Tristel MTG. In our Magic Drakey group, we have our number 11 seed, Tilo Tilo. Tilo 
Tilo is the current reigning champion, I believe. Smashy is in our Scorpion group at number 10. In our Druid group, we have both our 8th and our ninth seeds here because, you know, uh, EMP any amount of money in number 8 and Archfield taking up slot number 9. Not really accidental, we were actually tied and it was the tiebreaker. EMP had a better time than I did in 3 of the 5 seeds, so he gets the number 8 seed and I, technically I get the 9, but we're in the same group anyway. And now we go backward through our groups again. There we go, our Scorpion group, number seven, Beta Strip. I gotta say, what a group that is. Like, like there are like five names on that. Like that could take it no problem. Easy, easy. Big Slamu, winner of at least one of the seeds we did earlier, is in the Magic Drinky group as number six. I am not looking forward to this group either. In our magician group at number five is DK9146. She did have Furron come into my chat and say he would be with DK uh, when we did the group. So, yeah, came true. Yep, there's going to be some interesting matches here as well, I think. In our ghost group at number four is Diabetes the second. There are some big names here as well. Yeah, I mean, besides old Vampire Lay being new, you know, a bunch of the old guard and some who showed up during the last time, you know, played pretty well. Our number three seed, Angel FM. Hey, I know that name. Number two is Aaron to you too. That seems appropriate. Quite. Glad I could uh, throw during seed four to be able to make that happen. So we have one player left.
Yeah, I don't think there's any mystery here anymore. Number one seed, NES Cardinality. Congrats, sir. I mean, we're talking about groups of death. I mean, you know, this this is another one. Very much. Like, like every single person could uh, make it to the tournament or to the brackets. Yeah. So, again, the way this worked out, and I think we're going to pull some stuff up here. Um, you didn't have to get first in every seed to get the first ranking. Um there were, you know, I mean, I, I was like one step out and I only got in the top 16 in probably one race or maybe I was two or three steps out, but you know, and Ness Cardinella didn't win every race, but was probably in the top 16 in every race at least. Yeah. If you were, if you had consistently good times and we're going to bring up our last portion of the broadcast this evening, we'll be bringing up the times and everything and the standings for the qualifiers. But, I mean, that's exactly it. If you were just consistently good across the board and, uh, you know, everybody who ended up in the, the top eight just, you know, and there were even some people in the top eight who, like, for instance, today didn't end up on the any of the five broadcasts that we did, but still ended up in the top eight. So it was really all about overall performance. So we're going to start with the times and then we'll get to the points. But this will just give you a quick look at where the times came in and then a lot of these seeds. There was a very small amount of time separating a fairly large swath of players. Uh, kind of a, a glob of runners who had the same times at certain points. You see in this seed, third and fourth place came down to two seconds. Still happy about that, by the way. I didn't know it, the, know it at the time, but I was counting my damage against DL2 and swung, even though I had a heal more left. And I think if I hadn't done that, then between that and my repel wearing off as I went into Tanagel, I probably would have dropped a point to Angel there. Like, considering how everyone was talking about this seed, like, I was very happy with how it went. Seed number two. So if you're watching the restreams earlier, Brian Williams was up there. Of course, he's not competing in the tournament, so Smashy moves up into fourth place, um, as we talked about on the seed, or during the restream, sorry. Kind of interesting, too. I, there's some really heady times here in terms of just how far the separation is from the pack in some of these seeds. And, I mean, that's, you know, Diabetes is sitting up there, you know, other than the top, what, uh, four, five, six? Other than the top six or seven other racers, there's nobody within 10 minutes of him. Yeah, is... but I mean, even like even if you go to like starting with Aaron, like that whole grouping just going down shows how competitive that was. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, all of the, it's that entire left side of the screen there uh, within 15 minutes or so. So seed number three, which was the first seed we uh, had on a restream that didn't have any of the previous runners, um, was a little bit of a shorter seed, and it seems the times were scattered about a good bit. Yeah, there's kind of a cluster there. I mean, everybody is sub-120 all the way down through Angel, and then everybody is sub-130 down through Guelph, so... Seed four, 
Slamu just really put away a uh, tremendous showing for him on this one. Yeah, seven minute win over everybody else, or over the next finisher, I should say. I see four times at 41 minutes, two at 42, two at 43, two at 44. There were a lot of close times there. Yeah, that whole section, just a couple of small things here or there can swing it a couple of points one direction or another. That cluster in the middle there. Seed 5, there's a lot of sub-hour times here. <laughs> that was quite a jet. I was happy with 57 minutes, and I'm on the second side of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I watched Aaron do this one live, and I had the times at that point, and couldn't believe how well he did. Yeah, that's just... Uh, that's ridiculous. There are very few standard seeds in the history of like live races that have been completed in, in 41 minutes. I haven't done all of the research on that. I'm kind of tempted to. But I can think of maybe two or three races just off the top of my head that were in the 40s. Out of I think Holmes has one under forty. Holmes Holmes might have one under forty. And again on this one we have like five times in fifty minutes. There was a couple within three seconds of each other. There are so many close times here. So these are our final standings then the top eight that you have already seen on our groups i think i demand a recount here <laughs> one point separating aaron from angel two points separating diabetes from angel and one point separating dk from diabetes very very close in that middle part. And there you see EMP, any amount of money, with the eighth spot. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, there are actually a couple of tiebreakers in play, strictly technically speaking. Uh, the tiebreaker between myself and EMP dropped me down to the ninth seed, and Smashy and Tilo also had the same number of points. And there again, you see two points separating Tristel from Smashy and Tilo, and one point separating JJ from Tristel. Yeah, the tiebreaker for 8th versus 9th ended up not mattering, of course. But so far as the number next to your name, that's what was there. And as Beta Strep and Jay Cooper correctly point out, 8th gets home field advantage. So EMP will be playing at his home stadium when we face off against each other. And then the rest of the qualifying participants, again here, narrowly decided Zarnax just one point off of claiming that 16th spot. Not everybody in this list completed all five seeds, hence that middle number there that shows the number of seeds that participant completed before the deadline and submitted. But overall, I don't know what you guys thought, but it just felt like it was really interesting how the qualifying seeds played out because it felt like there was such a variety of different things. There were a couple seeds that were really tough, or at least they were tougher. There was one ridiculous jet seed, and then a couple of others that were a little bit in between. It kind of gave a nice breadth of experience there for everybody who participated in the qualifying round. Yeah, I yeah. think considering we you know just randomly did this, there was no check the C, we just chose five numbers. Like, it 
gave a good a good showing of what you know this game has. Indeed, it was a good mix, and like you said, it was you know some hard, some easy. Not you know the same players got first every time, which was great. It was really good. That said, all of our groups are now set, and I can take us back through those as we wrap up here. Uh, we will have instructions out to all of our runners shortly about how to get your races scheduled. Of course you have, I believe, and here now I'm flirting with danger by going off the top of my head. But I believe we have about five weeks to wrap up all of our group races, is that correct? Or four. Is it four? August 1st, August 28th. Four weeks it is. There we go. Yep, Beta Strep has the right of it in chat. Everybody will play everybody else in their group one time. And then the top three will advance. The person who finishes first place in their group will get a buy. There's different tiebreaker procedures with that too, because of course people can finish with the same records, and in fact, multiple people can finish with the same records, so you'll want to look into that if you're not familiar with those tiebreaking procedures. But once again, as we wrap up here, I just want to thank everybody both behind the scenes and out here uh, helping with the stream today. Uh, Zarnax did literally all of the work on the wonderful presentation we had for the group selections earlier. So everybody, please give him your thanks for that. It was really terrific. I want to thank Angel and Cyberdark for joining me here in the booth there would have just been a lot of silence and clicking if you weren't here and that would have been unpleasant even more unpleasant than having to listen to me in the first place and we'd also like to thank archfield for pre-recording all those vods we showed earlier throughout the day i was happy to do it it was actually a lot of fun because i got to talk with my tracker assistants when i had them uh Camion and manned helped me out with those and uh, was nice. We were just able to kind of chat and help each other catch things. Not that Camion needs any help catching things, but Camion was helping us catch things. And uh, just kind of chat about the seed as it progressed. So it was really interesting uh, to do that. I was happy to have the opportunity to do it and to get those on the air for everybody today. I think chat had a real good time with it. And I, I hope that's the case. It's not often we get eight to nine hours of Dragon Warrior streams in one day. <laughs> it is not. It is and not. that is so not a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to go into hibernation for a few days. So uh, if, if that's going to happen, it's going to be on somebody else's watch. I guess I can't really. We've got stuff to do. There are things to do. Matches to schedule. Keep an eye on the Discord for the procedure for doing that. We'll get that information out to you in terms of our scheduler and everything like that. If you're a volunteer or if you haven't volunteered yet, if you're interested in doing tracking commentary or restreaming of any kind, please reach out to us in the Discord. We'll make sure you get the appropriate tags and help show you the ropes as best we can. Does anybody else have any thoughts before we wrap things up this evening? I mean, just besides thanks for everyone coming out and you know having some fun with us. I'm you know apologize that it was a little late, but you know this turned out to be a lot of fun to do, and just getting to hang out with you guys, you know, made it all the more enjoyable. Yeah, I echo that for sure. Who wants to call a raid? Ooh, who's streaming Dragon Warrior right now? 
Well, to be fair, I mean, we did have Furron come into the channel yeah, when. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There you so go. I think we should give it to him. Everybody, if Furron did, a, did us a kindness to come over and make his pick during the group selections, we can return the favor and send all you fine folks over to see him. I think he's playing some Z1R right now, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he, he is. He is. So please enjoy that if you stick. I hope you do. And we will see you back here on DW Randomizer again very soon. Uh, for all of us on the admin team, thanks so much for coming out today and spending your time with us. We really appreciate it. I had a great time. Hope you did too. Take care, everybody. Good night, all. Good night. <laughs>